Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mikhail the Woke Goddess. Hope everyone is having a day of knowing that there are strange fruits in your family. I'm also having a day of knowing that there are strange fruits in my family. I appreciate all the love and support. And thanks again for tuning in with me for another video. For today's topic, subject title is going to on, is going to about, is going to be titled Strange Strange Fruits in My Family. So in my family, on my father's side of family, is so much mystery and wonder on my father's side of family because my mother told me that. My father's mother, my paternal grandmother, my mother said that they never show pictures of family members. And I always found that weird and strange. I used to wonder why they never showed pictures of family members. And then I, now that I know that my father's side of family, they dealt in witchcraft. They dealt in the occult. And they put hexes and curses on people. My father's side of family are very evil people. So I realized that they never showed no family photo album and they never show pictures of their side of the family it's because they were always they were always superstitious because they dealt in black magic and the witchcraft so that's why they was always superstitious of other people trying to do witchcraft and black magic on them. They was afraid that people will come in their home and steal pictures. They was afraid and scared and worried that some people might come in their home still and take pictures of their home to cast spells on them and to put all kinds of fixes and hexes on them. That's why they never showed no pictures or no family photo album. That's why they never showed nothing. And I got to realize this because my father's side of family, my paternal grandmother and paternal grandfather, they both dealt in the cult. They both dealt in witchcraft. That's why I got generational family curses on me. That's why I'm dealing with a lot of generational family curses now because my father's ancestry and bloodline, there's so much evil and witchcraft and sorcery. My father's side is a demonic family bloodline and I never saw pictures of my father's sister. My father, two sisters, I never saw pictures of them. I don't know how they look. I don't, I don't know what they look like. And when one of my aunts died, my father, oldest sister, when she died, 
my aunt. They had her funeral in the home and my mother said that, my grandmother said that they covered all the mirrors while my aunt casket and her body, well, while my aunt's body was in the casket, they had the casket and funeral at their house and they covered all the mirrors because my grandmother told my mother that when a funeral is done in the home, it's best to cover up the mirrors. You're supposed to cover up the mirrors in your house so there is no reflection of the dead. You're supposed to keep our bad luck and bad spirits. And so once my mother told me that, my grandmother told her that, oh yeah, I got even more confirmation that my paternal grandparents through my father and my father's bloodline, my whole father's side, they all dealt in the occult. They all dealt in witchcraft and sorcery. They all did wicked things. They did wicked things in high places. They dealt with the unknown. They dealt with all kinds of demons. And so my grandmother told my mother that her husband, my grandfather told her things. He told her what certain things mean, that something is for the blood and something is for this. So my grandfather, my paternal grandfather from my father was a warlock. He knew about the cults and what symbols met, what symbols and different things met and, di and, and different objects and charms and objects met, met in the occult. So my grandfather was a warlock. He was a little wizard. And I never saw a picture of him. It's strange. It's strange. That's why I say that my father's side is full of strange fruits. These people are these people are strange fruits. I never saw a picture of my grandfather. And it appeared like my father wasn't that close to my father. It appeared like my father wasn't that close to my grandfather. And it acted like he did not know much about my grandfather. So it's, there's a lot of strange and weirdness in my father's side of family. That's why I say that my family members and my father's side of family are strange fruits. They're strange people. And they're strange because they're evil. They're wicked. They were evil, wicked, and conniving. Witches, warlocks, wizards, and witch doctors. They dealt in the cult. They dabbed. They didn't dip and dab. They fully dabbed into the cult, witchcraft, and sorcery. Yeah, so I want to say that my grandmother told my mother that someone came into her home and put something on her towel in her bathroom. And after that, her eye got messed up. She said that someone had did a fix and a hex on her eye. And she almost lost her eye. She almost went blind in one eye and lost her eye. But my grandmother 
was a witch, a very evil, wicked woman. And she did witchcraft and cast spells on people. She did fixes, roots, and hexes on people. So if someone did come in and put something on her bathroom towel and did a root and root it, her eye, they fix a hex to make her go blind and lose her eye, lose her sight in one of her eyes. If someone did that to her, then it probably was because they was getting revenge on her. She probably did something to them. She probably cast something on them. Or cast something on someone that they knew. So that's why they, so they were getting the revenge. If she did something, if she did a hex and cast something on them, or did a hex and cast something on someone that they knew, that they was getting revenge on her. They was on payback. And that's probably why they cast a spell to make her lose her eye. When she said that she had to go to this man, she went to a worker to get her eye healed. I guess this this I guess this root worker, warlock, witch doctor man. He healed her eye. And she went to him and he must reverse and remove the curse. He reversed and removed the spell that was cast on her to make her lose her eye. Yeah, so this worker saved her eyesight, saved her from going blind. This worker helped her not lose her eye. This, this psychic man, a warlock worker, helped her keep her eye. Yeah, but that's my story about why my father's side of family is Strange fruits. I never saw two of my aunts, two of my father's sisters, and my father, father, my grandfather. I seen pictures of them. And my grandfather's sister, my father, father, my grandfather. One of his sisters always stayed away from the family. She was a nurse. But she always stayed away from the family. And I know why. But she didn't work too because they said that in the doctor office, she always kept newspaper under her feet. I guess in case if someone dropped anything evil down, trying to fix her, then it would hit the newspaper so th so that's the reason she's worried about somebody trying to fix her and dropping things down so that's the reason why she had down newspaper under her feet newspaper under her feet was for her protection it was to protect her but someone drop it down, evil things, to jinx her and fix her. But she stayed away because she knew the family. I mean, she, she knew the family was evil and the witchcraft on each other. She didn't trust her family. So that's the reason why she stayed away from the family and stayed 
after herself. That's why she always stayed. She didn't come to no family gatherings. She didn't mingle with the family at all. But she knew they were evil and the witchcraft, and she might have thought they would try to do witchcraft on her or scheme against her behind her back and bring her down. So she didn't trust them. That's why she stayed away. She had trust issues and did not trust them. So that's the reason why she did not mingle with them, hang around them, and did not come around. That's the reason why she did not associate with them. That's the reason why she kept her distance from them. Yes, yeah, so like I say, my father's side of family is full of strange fruits. These people are strange fruits. Strange fruits. Okay. I appreciate all the love and support. Thanks again for tuning in with me for another video. I'll see y'all again in my next video. Enjoy the rest of your day and know that they are strange fruits in your family. I'm also going to enjoy the rest of my day and know that they are strange fruits in my family. More love to all the chosen ones, all the TIs, all the targeted individuals. That's all there. I love you all. And I sincerely and truly mean that from the bottom of my heart. Bye, chosen ones. Bye, bye, bye. This your girl, Mikhail the Woke Goddess. Sign out. Until next time, I'll see you. One love, whole love, full love.